Battlefield 5 has been delayed. That's the news we got today from DICE regarding the launch of the next entry into the Battlefield franchise. And with it came quite a bit of controversy regarding both the decision and some of the elements around early access. But before we get into that, let's start off with the key dates that you guys need to know regarding when Battlefield 5 now is actually going to launch. Instead of launching for everybody on the 19th of October, you'll now be able to get the game on the 20th of November. For those of you who pre-ordered the Deluxe Edition, you'll be getting access on the 16th of November instead of the 16th of October. And for those of you with EA Origin Access Premium or whatever it's called today, the higher tier of Origin Access essentially, you'll be getting access to the game on the 9th of November instead of the 11th of October. So let's start straight off with those dates because that early access period of 11 days has understandably caused a little bit of anger in the community. The reason for this quite simple. DICE has come out and said they need another month to finish up Battlefield 5 to bring the true potential that this game can have up to the forefront before they actually release the game. That's fine. That's a reasonable reason many game studios, big and small, tend to delay their releases of big titles when they feel they are not quite finished. Red Dead Redemption is a good example of a game soon launching that initially was supposed to launch earlier this year. So what the controversy then? Well, when you extend your early access period from an already ridiculous 8 to 11 days, while at the same time claiming you need more time to actually finish developing your game, the contradiction is going to anger some of the community members, quite understandably so. DICE's reasoning here seems, well, faulted. If they really needed more time, why didn't they shorten the early access period? And I'm not saying they shouldn't have postponed the game. I think that's a good idea. But I also think they should have shortened the early access period or at least left it the same, but most definitely not extended it because that, quite frankly, is a little bit ridiculous given the reasoning that they're providing. Leaving that to one side though, and I'm sure everybody has their own opinions on that matter, let's talk a little bit about why Battlefield 5 is being delayed because there is two key reasons. One of them is that the game is not ready. Objectively, the game is not ready. If you've looked at Gamescom footage, if you looked at the alpha, and more importantly, once the beta comes out, that will tell us finally whether or not the game really is ready. But it seems like that is not the case. And that's reason one, because there's some key features still missing that actually need to be put into the game that we've been promised. As the Gamescom build has shown us, there's a lot of work regarding weapon balance that still needs to be done. There's also some missing features such as proper vehicle customization, such as dragging bodies around. And there's a lot of work still to do on the customization and progression system, which we only actually will be getting proper hands on for the first time come next week when we finally get access to the beta. But that is clearly not the only reason. And not only because DICE has somewhat gimped themselves here by extending the early access period into their development time and losing precious development time that they so desperately apparently need, so they claim. The other reason is quite clearly competition. Battlefield 5's marketing effort is one of the worst in the franchise history. I don't say that necessarily gladly, I'm not hating here. I don't want Battlefield 5's marketing effort to fail, neither do I want the game to fail. But quite frankly, when you tell a large number of potential buyers, possibly even your fan base, that if they don't like what they see, they should just f off essentially, well, people aren't gonna be too happy. That on top of a very bad release trailer, very poor communication of information to the community. All in all, a kind of just a big bag of shit when it comes to marketing. Well, that's not gonna help if you're trying to compete with this year's COD launch, which is gonna be pretty big, and one of the biggest games of the year, if not the biggest game of the year, Red Dead Redemption 2. All within a couple of weeks of release time of your game, and you've screwed your marketing up for the past few months. You would be sitting there going, how on earth am I going to pull this off? Well, the answer is delay your game so that you no longer quite as directly compete with the launch windows of those two titles. Come closer to the holiday season. Yes, it means that your earnings get pushed into next year, but it also means you have access to that quite lucrative holiday market, which possibly could make up for some of the, well, bad decisions you made regarding marketing and because you're slightly further away from the release of these titans of the gaming industry, Red Dead Redemption 2 coming from Rockstar, and of course the good old COD and its next installation of the franchise, maybe there's a little bit less of direct competition there, especially with Red Dead Redemption 2 because those are not quite the same type of game, whereas, well, usually most people either play Battlefield or COD, not both at the same time necessarily. 
And I honestly don't think this is necessarily a stupid idea, because given the marketing that DICE is done, the poor place this game currently stands image-wise in the larger gaming community, they don't necessarily need the extra challenge of competing with the big names such as Red Dead Redemption 2. Now many people have claimed that really the reason is the game isn't very good. This isn't about marketing, this isn't about not competing with Red Dead, it's about the fact that the game isn't good enough to compete with Red Dead. Well I bring you Titanfall 2 there as an example of what can happen with a good game when it stands squished in between other major releases of other gaming companies. Titanfall 2 objectively from anybody who played it and I spoke to as well as most of the online community and game critics etc agreed it was a good game it was actually a massive improvement over the last game it was worth picking up worth playing but it kind of flopped it didn't do necessarily as well as it should have given the quality of the game that it was given the studio that was behind it as well well it's mainly attributed to the fact that it was sandwiched between other big releases that year and dice and ea are probably quite wary of repeating another titanfall 2. But where ultimately do I stand on this? Well, I frankly see two reasons being at fault here. Not only the fact that they don't want to compete with Red Dead Redemption 2, given the bad marketing that they've done, given the lessons they've learned from Titanfall 2, but also Battlefield's got a history of screwing up launches. It's known in the community. A Battlefield launch is not necessarily a smooth launch. I mean, Battlefield 4 was a catastrophe when it came to the technical side and stability of the game when that launched. Battlefield Hardline had massive weapon balance issues that weren't addressed for months afterwards. And Battlefield 1, while stable, while relatively well balanced in the grand scheme of things, didn't have enough content. So, again, not necessarily a really successful launch. And Battlefield 1 lost its player base very quickly. Most of it before even the first DLC came out, which was a too long wait in the first place. Anyway, so with all that in mind, I'm more than happy... For DICE to take the extra time to make sure that this game is as good as it can be when it launches. Because they won't have time afterwards to continuously add new features when there's all the other things they need to work on for Battlefield 5 as is. New maps, new content, new single player. They've also got the co-op that will come post-launch. They've got the Battle Royale that will come post-launch. DICE has got plenty of to do with Battlefield 5. The last thing they need is leftover features that they need to introduce from the actual release of the game because they couldn't finish it in time. That being said, what do you guys think of the postponement of Battlefield 5's launch, as well as, of course, the quite questionable changes made to the duration of the early access period? Leave that, as well as, of course, your usual video suggestions and comments down below in the comment section, or hit me up with them on Twitter. If you enjoyed the video, found it helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. But with all that being said, I'd like to thank you very much for watching, and hope to see you in the next Battlefield 5 video.